Ah, no pants. <laughs> Hello, today I'd like to take a look at Zoro the Chronicles. Like the name says, it's a game where you play the part of Zoro as you flurry your way through the governor's corrupt soldiers. Special thanks go to BKOM Studios and Nacon for the review key. This review is based on about 10 hours of gameplay. All opinions are solid, the authors. You're all busy people, so let me answer your most pressing question first. Are you going to enjoy it? The 30 second spiel is that this game takes a humorous bent on Zoro. You flip about taking out hapless soldiers with style and panache. The finishing moves are both cinematic and humorous as Zoro shows off his moves. You can also use the environment by making soldiers run into walls and campfires, and for extra amusing moves like throwing chickens. Ah, the chicken! Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> This is a game that gives you a fun casual experience of sword fighting. If that sounds like something you'd like, then stay with me and I'll delve deeper into the details. What the hell was that? Zoro is a television and cinema franchise where a local aristocrat takes on a secret persona to fight for justice against the corrupt authorities. The game does a cute and amusing take on the franchise. The most obvious mark of this is the stylized, cartoonish nature of the graphics. You can tell that the developers paid a lot of attention to the little details. This is particularly evident during cutscenes. Visually, the game is very pleasing and has a style that will age well. The game is divided into 18 individual missions, and you can play as Diego or Ines. Each provides different bonuses during missions, but otherwise, they both play the same. Each mission has an overall goal. For example, in the first one you take back taxes that were levied illegally on the peasants. And of course the governor takes revenge, so Zoro must keep fighting. Zoro! <laughs> the gameplay is primarily about combat. There are stealth options like sneaking up on enemies and using your whip to get above enemies and do air attacks. But that can only take you so far. At some point you'll be battling enemies in open combat. Attacking is a simple matter of clicking on an enemy. The whip can help by stunning enemies. You can parry enemy attacks by timing the right mouse button, which will give you energy, or doing backflips with the space bar. Multiple attacks without being hit give you a combo bonus for extra energy. You can use that energy to trigger a special cinematic attack that immediately finishes off one enemy. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Later on, you'll unlock a multiple KO finisher. Fundamentally, the gameplay is very similar to what you see in games like Batman. Oh, really? Uh, speaking of Batman. And Mad Max. But far more casual and humorous. Barbecue guard! Zoro doesn't kill, so defeating enemies involves things like dropping their pants. And no pants. Oh, I love it. Finishers trigger special cinematics that may have Zoro flip the enemy over, pull his horse, or otherwise intimidate them. One of the best features of combat is that you can use the environment to your advantage. Making soldiers run into walls, trees and fountains will immediately take them out of the fight. Into the fountain! Into the fountain! Into the fountain! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Stay there, stay frosty. You also get stronger soldiers like the armored shield bearers that are immune to attacks from the front. Later on you'll find snipers and portly dynamite throwers. You can lure enemies to get blown up by their own bombs, which is a nice feature. You can unlock new abilities by spending Zoro points that you get by completing main and optional objectives in missions. The optional objectives typically involve finishing off enemies in a particular fashion, like making them run into barrels. But unlocking new abilities simply gives you more ways to finish off enemies. The gameplay is easy enough that even the most casual player should be able to take on groups of enemies from the start. The gameplay being so focused on combat does mean that there's a risk of becoming repetitive. Most of the fun of seeing new combat cinematics will happen early on, and that might lead people to lose interest after a few missions. Another potential issue is that the camera tends to swing around on its own towards the direction you're moving in. That's fine while you're looking in that direction, maybe even beneficial, but it's an annoyance when you're moving in one direction while looking in another. Zoro the Chronicles is a fun casual game aimed at people who want to laugh. That's gonna hurt. The visuals are its strongest point and consistent with the game's goal of providing an amusing experience. This is accentuated by the variety of nifty combat moves and the cinematics of finishers are done particularly well. And no pants. Oh, I love it. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.